Good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm heading out to Wilmington again today. I'm out in the country right now, up near where I live. Heading out to Wilmington today, I have a 20-ton York split system where the compressors are manifolded together. And there's a T where they're manifolded together where it's actually cracked and the entire charge is leaked out. Now, when we say entire charge, it's 70, I think it's, oh, it's almost 80 pounds of R410A. So it's a lot of charge. So we had to slide these compressors out on a rail because they're manifolded and they're all part of uh, one unit. You get both compressors and the manifold. You slide the old ones out and you slide the new ones in. It's kind of ridiculous, but you know, that's how they do it, evidently. So we're going to take a look at those. I won't be able to film a whole lot. Uh, it's going to be a busy little scene, but I'll try to get pictures of them, show you what they look like. And then I have uh, it's like 16 condensers I have to prepare for inspection at an apartment complex. And we'll get a look at those, what they look like, what they looked like before I got there. We're kind of taking existing installations and bringing them up to code. Uh, because they hadn't legally installed them. And I'm kind of coming behind them and fixing them up. So that's what we're doing today. So stay tuned. Here's our brand new tandem compressors. You see they're mounted together. Twin 10-ton compressors going into a 20-ton York heat pump. Connections right here coming out of the compressor. And coming back into the compressor right here. the suction line. So I bet these are heavy as hell. See Kaplan scroll tandem. So we're gonna slide the old ones out and we can take a look at the crack and the T. I've been told. Let all the refrigerant out, all 80 pounds, and coated everything in oil. So it should be interesting. You can see right there. That's hard to see still. Yeah. But you can see it right through good. there. Yeah. I'll show you the before and after picture. This is the awful before picture. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Yeah, it's very oily. Everything's covered in oil. Crack right through there. Here's the location where the compressor sat. Here's the gigantic reversing valve. That's inch and three inch copper going into it. Inch and five inch coming out. There's the very large accumulator, king valves, high and low pressure switches. A lot of space in here. That's what it looks like. See, there's a bunch of oil. Everything in here is coated in oil. Where the uh, T blew out. So, all the new compressors in place. It's beautiful. This is where I go. Alright, I'm heading out of downtown Wilmington. I'm going back to Midtown um, to take a look at those apartment buildings with the units we have to bring up to code. The two 10 ton compressors were very heavy and it was a pain in the ass. But we got them into place and my brother's going to solder them up, finish that job. And I'm going to go head up here and take a look at these condensers and we'll catch up with you in a minute. Here's our apartment units. These are straight cool units. What I'm having to do is clean out them from around them. I'm salvaging as many of the pads as I can. Some of them I'm going to replace. I'm putting heat pump legs underneath them. Just cleaning them up and making them worthy of inspection. Re-insulating the suction line with a larger wall insulation. That's about it. I'll show you one after I'm finished. Here's a couple of our Goodman units we fixed up. I put some legs under this one. Put some vibration pads under the other one because you can't raise it enough because the copper's so tight. I try to clean it up a little bit, get it off the ground, uh, re insulate the, insulate the piping with thicker armor flex because it's technically commercial. And wait till you see the gym. Here's one of the good ones, has a suction, suction line dryer. Not sure why. The line's kind of put up in the air. We have a couple issues here. See our service valve missing, the other one's cocked to the side and has the cap missing. Electricals hanging out. And of course, the unit itself is below grade, so we've already started rusting our base pan. But uh, I'm gonna jack it up, put in a new service valve, and get it back to proper height. And hopefully, she'll be around for years and years. I checked it for acid just in case, 
because it does have a suction line dryer. I'm going to sort of think about burnouts and stuff whenever I see those. So I figured I'd check it for acid and it was negative, so that was good. I'm going to have to jack up the other unit as well because it's in the ground, as you see. Level them out as best we can. But that's just what we were working on here. Uh, there's almost 20 units, so we have our work cut out for us. And there's a few major repairs along the way.